So the view router can be tricky to understand. This is a tutorial for beginners. Here we're going to work towards understanding view routers. So in this tutorial, we're going to be building a simple view project with named routes. In this tutorial, we're going to cover starting a new project, adding new components and configuring the view router for named routes. If you're completely new to view, then please head over to the video or tutorial, sorry, named learn view, install view and create a new app. So just go through that before you start this tutorial, then come back to this tutorial and then you can get started. So this is what you're going to end up building in this tutorial. Like I said, it's just a simple project whereby we have multiple pages ready to build the website further. So I start by building a project folder on my desktop. I call this view roots and I head into that. And I'm just going to copy this path so I can open it up in the command line. There we go. So now in the right folder. So now I need to install view. Apologies. I mean, I need to start a new view app. So I type in view, create, and then I'm going to call this view roots. I'm going to just select the default. So now I've started my project. I've opened up Visual Studio Code, or you can use any editing program. And I'm just going to open up the folder so we can start working. And here we go. So now we're ready to build. So the first thing that we're going to do is just create a new folder. We're going to call this Views. So we're not going to confuse components with views. They are both view components. However, views, the key difference is that some view components act as views for routing. So here we're going to set up views because they're going to act as our views for routing. So we're going to create some routing routes that are going to be directed towards these views. So inside of views, we can create some new files. So we're going to need a home. These are all going to have view extensions. So you can continue and add as many pages as you like. So about us with the file extension, obviously. And so on. So let's head inside up our home.view. So what we're going to need here is a template. So I have a new element with the class home if I wanted to style it. And there's just some text home. I need some script tags. Uh, so we have export default. It gives us a name of home. And then we've got some style tags. And you can choose to use scoped or not. So utilizing scoped, this is essentially style encapsulation. So when a style tag has a scoped attribute, its CSS will be applied to the elements of the current component, this home component, component only. So just go ahead now, and we're going to copy this over to the About Us page. All we need to do is to change a few items here. Of course, you could do this all at once. There we go. OK, so let's now configure the router so that we can route from the home page to the about us page and back again. So first of all, we need to just create a, a new file. I'm going to call this roots so I don't have to say router or router too many times. .js. So here inside of this file, we're going to add our router. So inside of our roots file, we're going to create the router. So first of all, we need to import view and then the view router. So next up, we need to import home because we created a home page. I have changed the home view. Apologies, I needed to include a capital for these component names. That's a general convention. So I import the home component and then the about us component into this 
router. And now I make the router available with inside of our view instance. And then now we're going to set up a new view router. So inside of here, I've included mode history and we'll see that in action shortly and why we've included that. And now we add the roots. So inside of the roots, we're going to create some named roots. So we have the name property and value in this case, home. So we can refer to this in other components so that we can access the path for home, for example. So we give it a path, which is slash in this case. So this is going to be the home or root directory of our website. We're going to call this home and then component home. So this component here is attached to this import here. So it just connects everything else, everything up, sorry, in our project. So now we can do the same thing for the path. Uh, sorry, for the about us page. So we've got the path, the name, and then the components. And then in addition to that, for example, if someone were to type in something random in the URL, then we can capture that and then send them to somewhere we want them to be. So for example, path, in this case, we're using star, so all other instances. And this is going to then redirect them to the named root home. So if you were to type in slash random, then there is no random root here that's available. So this is very hierarchical in that it will look for the roots from top to bottom. And then this will, this will be matched last. Okay, so now let's just turn on our server. So we just need to CD into our project and then run the npm run serp. That would just start our development server. Now, typically it utilizes localhost 8080. So if I move over to there, you can see that it welcomes us to view. So at the moment, our router, although it's been configured in our application, we need to now actually apply it. So if we head back into our project, if you now look inside of the components, we have hello world. So we're just going to remove that. And then head over to the app.view. So from here, we can just remove these items here and we don't need to import anymore because we've deleted that and we won't need this component. And also we don't need any styling. So what we need to do now is utilize this as well, almost a, a funnel here for our project. So our project's going to run from here. All of our routes are going to run from this app.view file. So I simply tell this file to utilize my new routes. So I use router hyphen view. So now I've connected it to my new routes. So let's just go back into the project and refresh. And you can see we have a blank page. So we're getting a little bit closer here. So if you head back into the project and then go to the main JS. So now what we need to do is we need to import our router in and actually now make it part of our project. So it's now available within our view instance. So now we're ready to start. Now we've kind of done this backwards because what we now need to do is go into the command prompt, press control and C to close the server and then as you can see here we actually now need to install the view router so npm install view router so with that installed we now head over to the home view page or sorry components and inside of here we've created some links so we've used router link so you can see, see here that we've used the, the name of the root. And this is simply like setting up an A tag really in HTML. We've got router link, which is the A. We've then got the href, which is the, the link to where we want to go to or be sent to. And then we have the, the text to identify the link. So 
We've added two links here to the home and about us. We're utilizing the name which corresponds to the root name. This is how we're going to get the path. So we do the same thing inside of the about us. And of course you may have multiple pages. So this is just for example. So if I go back into our application here, so I can run home and then you can see that we're moving to the about us page. So I'll just change the about us page to show about us. So you can see that that is working. So we're in the about us now and then we're in the home. So I will now finish that off this example with a navigation bar and also incorporate bootstrap. So if you want to stay on and do that, please do. But otherwise I have covered the main components of starting a new project, adding the components or the views and then configuring the view router. So now let's go ahead and install, sorry, let's create a, a navigation bar. So this is going to be a component. So we're going to create a new file here. We're going to call that nav bar. So this is going to be an example of how to incorporate a navigation bar or other components onto your view. So once we've done that, we now need to configure our nav bar. So I'm using Bootstrap here. I've gone ahead and created a nav bar. So I've copied and pasted from the Bootstrap manual documentation, a simple navigation bar. And you can see here that I've changed the A links, a link, sorry, to these uh, router links here. This is the home and about us. And then ordered, in order to get that working within Bootstrap, I then add some style here. So nav item A, and I need to then apply the block and the padding as it is defined already in Bootstrap. That's just going to provide the padding between the links. And you can see here that I've changed the text also to black. So because we're going to be utilizing Bootstrap, let's just now install Bootstrap. So I'm just going to stop the server and we're going to npm install Bootstrap. So we're not going to need the JavaScript for this. So we're just import the CSS file into our project. So to include Bootstrap now into our project, head over to main, the main.js file, and we just need to import that in right here and then press save. So you're going to find that the Bootstrap repository is installed into the node modules. And then we're just running through that directory. So Bootstrap, etc., until we get to the Bootstrap min CSS file. So now to include it with, within our components, so the home component here. So it's a three-step process. First of all, we need to actually import. So in our scripts, we import the nav bar from the, we need to come out of the views, so dot, dot, dash, and then go into the components. And then we've got the nav bar. So that's the first step. So secondly, we now need to add this component. So just under the name here, we can now add this component which I'm going to call navbar. And then the last step is just to include it where we want it within a project. So at the top here, we're going to have the navbar. So if we go back now and refresh, of course, we actually need to run the server. So hopefully once that's done, we can then go back into our project. And here we have the navigation bar. So I also need to do the same thing again on the about us page. Of course, we can do the same thing again in the about us components. So we to find where we want the nav bar, we import it in and then add it to the components. So now we should have it available on both pages. There we go. So of course, now you can go ahead and style your page. Underneath the nav bar, you might want to include some other components. So let's just try that. And it works exactly the same as if you're going to build a HTML page. I've added the nav bar twice. There we go. So you can now add some more pages and style them as you wish. So that was really a quick starter project. 
for those getting into view. Maybe you just want to build a simple web page or try and build a simple web page. So we've covered starting a new project, adding components, including adding a navbar, and then configuring the view router.